Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to figure out what's using up the battery on your iPhone. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So I often hear people say that their iPhone loses battery pretty quickly. And I often ask them, well, have you looked to see what's using the most battery? And a lot of people don't know how to do this. It's really simple and it's right there in your Settings app. So in your Settings app scroll down until you find Battery. And then go into that. Then wait for the screen to load. Now you're going to see right here a chart. You can either see the last 24 hours or the last 10 days. And this is going to show you your battery usage. This green line here at the bottom represents when you had the phone plugged in. So for instance overnight here. And then you could see how much battery power your iPhone had during that time. So anytime that there was a steep drop off you can easily see that. You can also see when it's charging up. And here you can even see how the iPhone charged up to about 80% stopped and then charged up the rest of the way just before morning. Now if you continue to look down further you'll see activity. So this represents you using your iPhone. The dark blue lines are using your iPhone when the screen is on and the light blue ones are when the screen is off. So in other words when it's doing background tasks. So you can see there were a couple of background tasks performed overnight. Probably looking for updates, doing maintenance and things like that. All in all I haven't really used my iPhone too much in the last 24 hours. You can switch to the last 10 days by tapping here. And then you're going to see each day and how much battery was used and then how much you used your iPhone. You again have the dark blue for screen use and light blue for background use. So you can see here I used maybe about 60% of my battery here on Saturday. Now let's go back to 24 hours and let's look below this. And here you're going to see a list of apps starting with the one that's using the most battery. In this case Google Home used 36% of my battery. Exposure notifications in the background 27%. Find My 16% and so on. Now this may look like a lot but considering I didn't use my iPhone that much in the last 24 hours it's not really that much. If I switch to Show Activity I can see I only use Google Home for 10 minutes. And I can see for instance Weather I only used for 3 minutes. And it even breaks it down. 1 minute for the screen, 2 minutes in the background. If you don't see this breakdown here just tap on any app and you can see how it toggles those on and off. So I can switch by Battery Usage and Activity by just tapping here in the top. So that's useful for determining what's really using a lot of battery. I can't get too much from this since I didn't use any app very much. Let's go up here to the top and switch to last 10 days. So not only does this change the charts up here but now I could see that I used in the last 10 days Safari for an hour on the screen. And that's the top battery user here. And I could switch and see it used 19% of the battery over the last week. This is typically where you could really figure out what's going on. Say you have an app that you're using that you don't even realize takes a lot of battery. It would maybe appear here at the top with a very large number. And sometimes this makes sense. If that's the app you use all the time then it makes sense it's using the most battery and it's not really a problem. But if it's an app you don't consider yourself using very much and it's still beating out apps that have more screen time than this one then you know that app is very energy heavy. So that's the thing. Not all apps use battery power at the same rate. Some apps use a lot of graphics, change the screen a lot, are using a lot of Wi-Fi or mobile and it's draining the battery all the time and you can tell that by looking critically at the numbers here. Now if you want you can also go into these charts and select any one of those to focus on that day. So I'm going to look at this Saturday here. If I tap on that you can see it focuses in on that in battery usage and activity and I can see here which apps I used during that day. You can even switch to 24 hours and then tap on any given slice in here just to see battery use during that one hour and which apps you were using and how much battery power they used. So there's a ton of data here. I encourage you all to go and look right now even if you're not having any trouble just to familiarize yourself with this app. And the next time you find yourself with all of a sudden 20% of your battery left you can quickly go in and figure out what took up the most battery power today. Or maybe even look at the chart and figure out say if you forgot to plug your phone in last night. All the information is there. You never have to wonder about 
what is using up more battery power because you can tell using this part of the settings app. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.